Larry, thanks. Today, Charlotte Mecklenburg schools are holding an emergency meeting before announcing plans for the fall semester. We just talked about this, but Wake Up Charlotte's Chloe Lester joining us live. So, Chloe, this is coming after the governor's plan really left a lot of decisions to be made by local districts. And I'm not envious because the, what, what do schools do? And, and that's why they're holding this emergency meeting. Yeah, good morning, Carolyn. It's definitely a difficult decision. CMS planned for all three options, and a few weeks ago, the chairwoman of the Board of Education told me Plan B was the most logistically challenging. Now that they know that that's one of the options from the governor, they can start putting some actual plans in place, and they're starting that today. With just over a month to go, North Carolina families and teachers learn kids will be back in the classroom in some capacity. The North Carolina schools will be open for both in-person and remote learning with key safety precautions. That's plan B and requires face coverings for all students and staff K through 12. There will be daily temperature checks, regular hand washing and cleaning, social distancing and limited visitors. Symptomatic students will be isolated. It's a lot of moving pieces and some teachers are nervous. I just don't think it's the right situation for us to be the guinea pigs. CMS presented their plans a few weeks ago. Under plan B, each grade will be split into three groups and only one group will be in the building at a time. Pre-K through eighth graders will do one week in school, two weeks out. Ninth through 11th will do the same, but every Friday will be remote learning. High school seniors will only be in the classroom once a week. Say my worst fear, worst, worst fear is getting myself sick, my family sick, my elderly parents, grandparents, my son sick. And so every school has to provide a remote learning option to families who are most comfortable doing that. And schools can decide that they're going to go with Plan C and do all remote learning. Of course, we could also get to the point where that's the only option and Governor Cooper decides everyone will be doing remote learning. That meeting starts at 4.30 this afternoon. Rachel?